Hi dear student, how are you? Hope you are fine during this lockdown. You are not going out anywhere, staying at home and staying safe with all your family members. And this time that you are having free totally, you should not waste. You enjoy no problem with your with your friends, I mean, with your parents, with your bro brothers and sisters, with anyone in your family. And uh, you have connection with your friends through social media. That's good. But at the same time, you use the time properly for your study purposes because that is the main thing that you're doing because I told you that students are those who study studiously. So you have to study studiously for your own sake, for ma making your own career better and good career you have to make in future. That is the gift you're going to give to your parents and family members and the teachers. A good career, a good human being. So today I have come to you with a topic. It's objectives of auditing. I've already explained in the other video what is auditing, the features of auditing, and today it is objectives of auditing. See, the main objective of auditing is to express opinion on the financial statements. See, you can see the main thing, objective of auditing, to give opinion on the financial statement. For that, the auditor audits. The auditor examines the financial statements to satisfy about the truth and fairness of the financial position and operating result of the enterprise. Truth and fairness. For knowing the truth and fairness, auditor examines the books of account. Auditor has to verify the financial statements and books of account to certify the truth and fairness of the financial position and the operating results. So this is the background. Now on this, uh, based on this background, we can divide the objective of auditing into two groups. Let us divide the objectives into two groups. Number one, primary and main objectives. And number two, secondary objectives. So when you write about the objectives of auditing, you write there are two groups of objectives. Number one, primary or main objectives. And number two, secondary objectives. So let us uh, just go by brief here. What is primary objective? See. In primary objective, you can write two points. Primary objectives are uh, can be divided into two points. Number one, to examine the accuracy of the books of account. That's number one, to examine the accuracy of books of account. And number two, to express opinion on the financial statements. So these are the two primary objectives. What are these? Number one, to examine the accuracy of the books of account. And number two, to express opinion on the financial statements and when you go for secondary objectives secondary objectives also we can group into again two parts number one detection and prevention of errors detection and prevention of errors and number two detection and prevention of frauds so these things we are going to discuss now two groups of objectives primary objectives and secondary objectives see let us do first primary objectives. Primary or main objectives are as follows. Number one, to examine the accuracy of the books of account. Auditor's primary objective is to examine the books of account with vouchers, with documents, with uh, certificates, with supporting documents and to um, find whether the balance sheet gives the true and fair view and whether the profit and loss account gives the true and fair view. So this is the number one primary objective. In number one primary objective, auditor should undertake the following points. Number one, he should verify the arithmetic accuracy of the books of account. In primary objective number one, he should verify the existence and value of the assets and liabilities of the company. This means as per books, suppose there are assets and liabilities, but whether these assets and liabilities exist or not, this thing Auditor has to find out. There is physical verification, not only books of account. I told you in the other video that auditor is not only um, confined to the book, checking of books of account, auditor also have to go beyond that. Whether books of accounts and the physical existence of the assets and liabilities are at par or not. So he has to verify the existence of the value of assets and uh, exist value, verify the existence and value, both existence and value. Asset may be existent, 
but what is the value whether this value is at par with the books of account verify whether all the statutory requirements for the maintaining the books of account have been complied with so after looking at this point he has to see whether uh, statutory obligations have been uh, have been fulfilled or not and in primary objective number 2 auditor has to express opinion on the financial statement primary objective number 2 expressing the opinion on financial statement after verifying the accuracy of the books of account the auditor should express his expert opinion on the truth and fairness of the financial statements that is the second objective so first was verify and second was express opinion the auditor should certify the profit and loss account and balance sheet after checking all these things auditor should certify profit and loss account and balance sheet whether these things show true and fair view so these are the Uh, primary objectives I have told you. Primary objectives. There are two under primary objectives. Two points are there. I am just repeating. Number one, to examine the accuracy of the books of account, and number two, to express opinion on the financial statements. And now, go by. Uh, let us go by secondary objectives. There are two types of secondary objectives. Also, two types. Number one is detection and prevention of errors, and number two, detection and prevention of frauds. These are the two things. See, detection means find out. and prevention means check it both are auditor's duty auditor has to find out whether there are errors or not and then prevent the future errors chances of errors both are auditor's duty objectives and similarly fraud detection and prevention of fraud now there is question comes what is error and what is fraud see errors are innocently committed mistakes and errors but fraud is intentionally committed mistakes intentionally committed mistakes are fraud now the as per chartered account institute of chartered accounts of india error is an unintentional mistake in the books of account unintentional mistake i see ai says error is an unintentional mistake now how many types of errors are there say errors first to group into four four groups errors are of four groups number one clerical error and number two errors of duplication then errors of compensation and then errors of principal clerical errors are of two types errors of omission and errors of commission so that way you can see there are five types of errors if we start from the beginning errors of omission errors of commission errors of duplication errors of compensation errors of principal so these are the types of errors now what is errors of you can say some 2 3 minutes let us see what is which error what is clerical error clerical errors are say totaling balancing all these tech things are clerical error these are uh, committed mistakes in totaling etc totaling balancing uh, these are clerical errors and then clerical errors are again of two types errors of omission and errors of commission errors of omission is of, again of two types total omission or partial error omission maybe an entry is totally omitted that is errors of omission maybe partially it is correct and partially omitted so that is partial omission errors partial omission and complete omission two types of omission are there then errors of commission what is it commissions are supposed to be committed or done by carelessness these are uh, errors of commission such errors are again errors of commission these are of errors of recording errors of posting errors of casting errors of uh, carry forward etc then errors of recording errors of recording errors of posting errors of casting errors of carry forward these are the errors these errors are you could say errors of commission errors of commission then um you the next one say errors of duplication errors of duplication means same entry you have you have entered you have recorded more than once errors of duplication same entry you have recorded more than once same entry suppose you have paid rent you have written rent account debit to cash again by mistake again you have written rent account debit to cash this errors of duplication then errors of compensation it means two errors are there and two errors are compensated in table studies so errors of compensation suppose in one account we have taken in debit side 5000 more and another account in debit side only we have taken 5000 less 
So it is Talbanis is telling is errors of duplication, duplicating errors. Again, again, it may be that uh, you have taken in um, one one item in debit side you have taken ten thousand more, and another item in credit side by mistake you have take, taken ten thousand more. It's compensated. So trial balance will tell you this is errors of uh, errors of compensation or compensating error. In compensating error, it is also known as offsetting errors. Offsetting errors due to compensating errors, you know, trial balance does not get affected. Trial balance tell is, and then errors of principle. Errors of principle. You have, suppose you have paid um, rent of a building, so it should be rent account debit to cash, but you have written building account debit to cash. So these types of errors of principle, it also not affects, uh, doesn't affect trial balance because uh, errors of principle amounts are okay, but item is wrong. I mean name is wrong like that. Principle is wrong. So trial balance will tell you. Then detection or prevention of fraud. The question is what is fraud? Fraud means intentionally committed mistake. Let me define what is fraud. Um, fraud means convincing a person to believe a particular fact to be true, which in fact is not true. This is the definition. I learned this definition in some book in lower classes. Convincing a person to believe a particular fact to be true, which in fact is not true. This is fraud. So detection in business, um, lots of frauds are committed and this frauds are you know misrepresentation willful misrepresentation or intentional misrepresentation so these are detection and prevention of frauds this objectives of auditing so again frauds are of again two types for three types there are three types of frauds number one misappropriation of cash when cash is misappropriated this is misappropriation of cash this is a fraud then misappropriation of goods this is also a fraud, misappropriation of goods, and then misappropriation of uh, account. Accounts are also manipulated. That is also fraud. So these are different types of frauds are there. So next we shall discuss why these frauds are committed and how these frauds are committed and how these frauds can be checked by auditor, prevented and detected by auditor. These things we will study in the next video. So thank you very much. Stay blessed and study properly at home and don't waste time. Use the lockdown time effectively. Thank you.